Boy, some strong coffee. I'm getting buzzed. <laughs> my neck plate's quivering, and my cute little acrylic hands are shaking and sweaty. Whoa. Fill her up, Joel. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Anything you would say, little amigo? More sugar, please. Okay, I'm right on it, Gypsy. No problem. Boy, Joel, today's experiment's got bite. It's, uh, mm. it's like, um, oh, it's like a like, fever dream, yeah. Crow. You know, or like one of those dreams when you get home at midnight, and you wolf down a Ukrainian sausage pastry and a Grolsch beer, then you go straight to bed? Yeah, or when uh. you just got off a 12-hour shift at Arby's, and you're watching TV at 3 a.m., and then you fall asleep during Omega Man. Yeah. Do you have any more half and half? Yeah, no problem. You know, I had a really weird dream last night. I dreamt that we, we all got back to Earth, and then you guys got a duplex together. Well, you know, just last night, I dreamed that I had a really nice girlfriend with red hair and a blue dress. Mm -hmm. Then she turned into a gargoyle, and I was really scared. Ooh. But then Jesus came, and everything was okay. Uh, you saw Jesus? Oh, well, yeah. Real nice yeah. guy, too. Thinner than you might think. Mm. I don't remember my dreams too often, Joel. Well, you know, I never could either until I started keeping a journal. Hey, uh, I'm curious, what do you dream about, Gypsy? I dream I fly in color. Uh, oh, hmm. you dreamed you flew. Uh, that means you're intuitive. Hmm. It's really I have good. one dream about a little French cafe in Paris, right off the Rue de Florentine. What was that waiter's name? Jean-Luc! Oh, you had that dream, too? Oh, oh, wow. Jean-Luc!